Okay. My name's Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make a skateboard. All right, let's go. Let's get to it. So this is the Oregon warehouse, um, which I've literally never been into, which is kind of weird until today was my first day. So let's go check it out. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, a Chris McNugget, a Ricky McLaza. You got the little lens on, Chris. Yeah, what happened? You trying to get artsy? Oh, look at that baby lens. It's so cute. Look at oh, it. Yeah. Modeled after you, brother. <laughs> nice and cute, thank you. Check out this signature. Bam, if you buy one of these, you get one of these. What happened here, Chris? I messed up and I fixed it. It's, <laughs> called, it's called working with what you got. Hey, shout out Bob Ross. Right. JD, give us a kickflip. Oh, not good. Okay. So we got the boards. These are boards that are set out for these guys to sign. Super sick. The Ricky Glaza mate. The Mowgli mate. Oh, it's under it. So they did this thing where Mowgli, Ricky signed. Look how good mine is. Okay, I think that yours is actually better. Can you do just Mowgli's signatures from now on? Yeah, I thought that was yours. No, that's, that's Mowgli. Mo. That's Mo written all over it. Yeah. Right. Look, I said, all right, Mo, give me this. Imitate this, and this is what we got. <laughs> It's because Mowgli writes it like how he skates, like this. Arr, like, like, arr. and then here's mine. And these, you maybe you're not supposed to see, but you done saw them. These are the new style. I don't know if anybody noticed I've been wearing them. But this is not what we're here for. We're here for how skateboards are made. And they're all, well, black gum sole, which I really like how these came out. I'm gonna have to rock me some of those. And then here we have boards this is the classic b signed by the entire team but what we're here to show you is yes you is how a skateboard is made i'm going to make a video later that shows you all about how the layers go in and how the glue works and how it's pressed and i'll talk a lot about that we don't have that here today because we don't actually press the boards here um, but we get them pressed from mr paul schmidt and a couple other places. Some of these boards are from Clutch Distribution and some of them are from Paul Schmidt, um, who both make very high quality boards. If you guys aren't familiar with them, you will know Paul Schmidt makes so many companies boards. Um, and Clutch, you'll know if you're familiar, Clutch makes the Revive boards and also so many other companies boards like Primitive as well. So let's check out all these boards and all that we got. Oh, and then look at, these are the best beginner completes. If you're learning how to skate, that's you right there. Best beginner complete. Whole box. Oh yeah, we gotta shut this out too. I hope to see you guys on the tour. Yes sir, all terrain tour. Super excited. So you see all this? <laughs> tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of boards. It's like a kid in a candy store. Leave it in the comments below. What's your favorite size of board? So basically, how this works is you purchase a board on BrailleSkateboarding.com and somebody comes by here and they pick out a board. Let's say you get an 825. Okay, so we're gonna grab a couple 825s just like this right here. Nice little brown flavor on the top, a little chocolate style. Bada boom, bada bing. We got all your trucks, wheels, bearings, more trucks. Look at this guy. He's talking about which top color he wants. What's your favorite top color? Red? Uh, pink. Do you think this board is dangerous to skate? Why would it be? Exactly. So this whole thing going on right now where, is it going on right now or has this been an old thing? Cause when it, I was a kid, it didn't matter. It's been going on since I started skating. But no. Like, I think it's more of like, people believe anything. Like, have you heard the whole like, I, I want to get the mob one, mob two? No, I haven't heard and, that. And it derives from like the machines. So there's six machines that mob prints grip on. Yeah. And people like, they think mob two. No, mob you're joking. Four. I'm not. I, Stop. How yeah, would they know which have, machine? If you don't want to add this, you don't have to. But in 100% oh, we're adding all right, this. All right. This is details. Okay, so in the nine club, Kelly He's Hart. He's talking about mob grip. Kelly Hart is the manager for mob grip. Yeah. He talks about it on the nine club. Like, hey, I send the mob to these guys. And sometimes they'll message me saying, hey, can I get some of the mob four? I was like, what are you talking about? They're all the same. He's like, yeah. no, no, no. But it says four on mob. Like, cause really? Like, you know how we, this has K5? Go find a sheet of mob and see if it says four. Okay. But what, what, why I bring this up is because the red top. Rick, is the red top dangerous? Yeah, cuz. So there's a whole rumor going around. Rumor, or whatever. Um, personally, I'm not skating red top because, as Ricky said, it's cursed. And the curse is that if you have a red top, you get hurt. But don't believe that. Don't believe that. It's just superstition. JD skates the best on red top. And Rick's got pink Crocs on, so we're good to go. Yeah, notice they're not red top crocs. They're just a lighter shade of red, Rick. 
So you grab the decks, you grab the shapes you like, and you walk over to the graphic machine. Now we're gonna throw the graphic on there and see what see what's good. Oh dang. Are you doing one? You gotta show me how to do this. Okay, so you slap this thing on there, it's called a heat transfer. And then you just peel it off? That was it? I had no idea. I've literally never seen that done in person. No, that looks good. What the heck? Leave it in the comments below. So we got the glass board and the Lego. So I gotta explain this to you guys. This is just, basically this is a plastic with ink on it. Is that right? It's very thin. It's not sticky or nothing. So you basically just put it on the board like so. Whoa, whoa, did you check the nose and the tail? Yeah, good call. You had, other, there you go. This is nose, yeah. Make sure the nose is upright. Make sure you're not going it on the other side. But I suppose we could do it on that side, couldn't we? <laughs> so you're just gonna line this up. So it's perfectly there. And that's it, I guess you just, I guess you're good. Now I just run it through. So the important thing is when you run it through, you have to let go. Let go? Are we lined up on that side? Ouch! Just kidding. Dude, I slayed it. Think I could get a job here? Air bubble. So now pull this off? Yeah, exactly. Just like that. What the heck, that is so weird. So this is the thing I wanna point out. You see how I said like it's ink on a plastic sheet? The plastic sheet is still there. When you pulled it off, I thought the plastic sheet was gone. I thought there was a hole here. That is so yeah, wild. That one, this is fire. If you want to get this right now, it's in the Braille shop. Let's sign it. Leave a comment on this video for a chance to win this board. No, oh, somebody else gonna skate it. So many people have made us, you make it, we skate it over the years. It's time to pay back the favor. I'm making it and you're gonna skate it. Oh my gosh, brilliant. Can I get your signature? Can I get a picture? Who do I make it out to? Uh, make it out to, make it out to them. I'm waiting for my board to be ready. Oh, there we go. You gotta do it yourself. No, sir. I don't want to mess things up. You like the glass board more? Yeah, it looks so, it's probably the best graphic ever. This might be the first time they ever been stoked on a graphic. I think both of those are really good. You do? Yeah, Rick. This one's way better. It's probably the best Braille graphic ever. Well, sign this for me and maybe I can get a picture with you. If you can make us an epic Lego skateboard, maybe one that doesn't break, skate it at brailleskateboarding.com. You got this. Make it, send it into us, let's go. Okay, so you can see if you get this, it's very authentic because I had some sort of creases. I think what happened was I was holding it on there and the thing machine was already getting hot and it was starting to like melt it. So I'm gonna try it again. Get one rebate. Okay, I'm gonna try and not mess this up this time in full send. Oh, no. Yep, run your fingers right through there. Okay, you ready? Yeah, now we're cooking. Literally. Leave it in the comments what is gonna happen. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna be amazing? It's 100% gonna stick. No way. What's the difference between the wood and the bottom? I'm gonna point out something to the non-believers after I make this. This is why we can't have nice things, everyone. I got the bottom. Oh, there you go. Look! Wow! They said it was impossible. I stand corrected. There's only one problem. I just was slightly off right here. But honestly, that's super sick. That is pretty sick. All right, where's the clear grip? Let's run it. Clearly the grippiest. Mob clear. I didn't think that would work if I'm being transparent with you. Oh, got him. Uh-oh, Gabe might be right. Maybe it was slightly not working. Rick. Oh, clear grip tape just 
hurts my stomach. So it literally says mob grip one. I, want, I need the number four. We're going off on this Gabe Cruz. It's so weird because the clear grip and I can't really tell. Like, am I really scraping it well? On the black, you really know because it turns white, right? But on the clear, it's hard for me to tell. Come on, Gabe. Leave it in the comments below if this is the most fire board you've ever seen in your whole life. Yeah? That's double sided. That's sick. Do we skate this or give it away? I don't know what to do. Yeah, give it away in the comments. All right, comments. Leave it in the comments below and we'll pick the best comment and we'll give away this board. We should have everybody sign it though too, no? You think? So that right there is how you put a graphic on a board. I guess this is not really how you make a skateboard, but more like how do you put a graphic on a skateboard. Shout it out. All right, so like I said, in the future I'm gonna make a video with all of how you press the board, the glue, and how all of that works, and I'm really excited for that video. I actually have a place set up to do that with me. Um, but that's how you put the graphics on. I don't know if you guys ever knew how that worked. I didn't totally understand how that worked, and I've been skating for 28 years. So I hope you learned something. And these are our two new graphics. Shout out, you make it, we skate it. Which, by the way, if you have a board that you want to send us, skate it at braillskateboarding.com. But here we have the glass board and the Lego board. And uh, yeah, I'm super stoked with these, super proud of, I don't know, this one kind of get me going emotional because this is like kind of shows how far we've come, right? So leave it in the comments below for your chance to win one of these boards. These boards are available right now at BrailleSkateboarding.com. There's only 125 of each made, which I probably just made this one. Maybe there's 124 left of this one. <laughs> so get them while you can. And uh, yeah, BrailleSkateboarding.com. We got everything you need to learn how to ride a skateboard. You guys are the absolute best. We'll see you out there shredding.